Jonah. Like, do what now? He wanted them to go and go to the stay. Gentiles oh, yeah. and preach. What did Israel do? They, the other way. they went the other way. Now, here's Jonah, and, and he's in this boat that's in the middle of the ocean. What's the sea a picture of? The world. The world, the, world, the Gentile nation. And he's headed in the opposite direction that God wants him to go. Here's the, here's the nation of Israel sitting in this land in the center of the, the sea, in the center of all the Gentile nations. So what starts happening? The storm arose. The storm arose. We looked a little bit of this Thursday night. The storm, hey boy, it started splashing that boat all over the place. And finally, uh, if, the finally, what did Jonah say? He said, look guys, I know what the problem is. You need to throw me out and everything will be fine. And they didn't want to do that and this and that. Well, finally they did. So they threw them out. And what happened? Calm. Calm. You want to know why there's turmoil in the Middle East today? Because Jonah's in the boat. Israel's in their land right now, outside the will of God. So the surrounding ocean, the seas, are, are, are <coughs> it's a big fat storm. <coughs> as soon as you throw Jonah out, everything will be calm. But as long as Israel's in that land, going the opposite direction that God wants her to go, there's going to be a storm around. They don't want to throw them out. They want to kill them. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little different. So it? what happens to Jonah? He gets swallowed by that big fish, right? Yep. How long is he down? How, how long? What, when, when, what happens to him? He, he cries out to God from hate, from Sheol, from hell. Most scholars believe Jonah actually died. Really? He was in the place, Sheol is the place of death. Most, mm -hmm. which, whether or not God kept him alive, I don't know how he could live in, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Most scholars believe he actually died and was resurrected, which it fits the type because Israel's dead and they will be resurrected. Then what happened? On the third day, he spit them back out on the land. What's going to happen after two days on the third day? Israel's going to come out from the bottom of the ocean which is a picture of the world. They're going to be gathered back to the land. And then what are they going to do? What did Jonah do? He went where God, he went where God sent him to go. He went and preached, right? Are you talking about in Revelation when it says the Jews will be sent out in mass and they'll begin teaching and preaching? Now that's the 144,000. I'm speaking yeah. of really, I'm speaking of when Jesus actually returns <clears throat> and gathers oh, okay. in the entire Jewish people back to the land and then Israel will be God's Jehovah Witnesses that preaches the message throughout the entire world during the Millennial Kingdom. Okay. See the church is God's heavenly people but Israel will be God's earthly people and they're going to be the ones spreading the message throughout the world during the Millennial Reign. Alright real quick and we're about to be out of time. Turn back to Genesis One of these days we'll study the book of Jonah. There's really a lot of exciting things there dealing with the nation of Israel. Let's, uh, let's look at... Uh, well, let's start in four, chapter 42 and verse 1. Remember Joseph, he went to his brothers and he told them about these dreams. What, what were his dreams? Like seven years of plenty and then... No, that was Pharaoh's dream. What, what did Joseph tell his brothers? They would be bowing down to him. He said, your stars bow down to my stars mm -hmm. and your sheets bow down, bow down to my sheep. Think about that. Heavenly and earthly. Over and over, you're going to see the heavenly and earthly. And what did Joseph's brothers do about it? They hated him. Mm -hmm. They said, you think you're going to rule over us? So what did they do? They wanted to kill him. They wanted to kill him. And I mean, in that's, a sense, you got to think, but that's pretty angry. In a sense, they, they, in one sense, they did. They threw him in that pit, and then they sold him into slavery, and they took his coat, and they killed the lamb. There's the sacrifice, covered the coat, and they presented it to the father. Right. Boy, I can't wait to get the joke. Whew. All right, so... Uh, Chapter 42, when Jacob saw there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said to his sons, Why do you look one upon the other? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there's corn in Egypt. Go down and buy from there that we may live. So Joseph's ten brothers went down to buy corn in Egypt, but Benjamin, brother, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren. For he said, Lest peradventure mischief befall him. 
And the sons of Israel came to buy corn, and those that came for the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over all the land, and it, he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. They don't even know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But they're bowing down before Joseph. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange to them, and spake roughly to them. And he said unto them, From whence came you? And they said, to buy, to, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them. And you remember the story. They went back and came back in the silver cup. And then you get all the way over to chapter 45. Remember, they threw him into prison, and uh, and finally, uh, they come back. And verse 1, it says, Joseph could not refrain himself before all them that stood by him, and he cried, Cause every man to go out from me. And there stood no man with him, while Joseph made, known, made himself known to his brethren. The church is gone. The church has been raptured. It's just Jesus and his brothers at this point. Uh, and he wept aloud. Remember what Jesus did? He wept. Joseph, well, he, just could, he just couldn't stand it. There's so much emotion. These are his brothers who hated him, who killed him. And I want you to think of this bigger. This is not just Joseph and his brothers we're dealing with here. We're talking about Jesus Christ and the nation of Israel. Jesus came to the nation of Israel, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and I'm the king. And they said, we will not have this man rule over us. We have no king but Caesar. But look what happens. He weeps so loud that the Egyptians in the house of Pharaoh heard, and Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph, does my father yet live? And his brothers could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. They're scared to death. They can't believe what they're saying. This is Joseph. This is the guy we, we, you know, threw in this. And, and that's what's going to happen with Christ. When Christ reveals himself to his brothers, to the nation of Israel, they, they're going to be shocked. The nation of Israel does not know who Jesus Christ is. When they see him, they're going to be like, oh my goodness, this is the guy we killed. Hmm. And Joseph said to his brothers, come near to me, I pray you. And they came near, and he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. Now, therefore, do not be grieved nor angry with yourselves that you sold me hither. For God sent me before you to preserve life. Mm. That's what Jesus <coughs> had told to his brothers. Hey, look, forget about it. It was preordained. This was God's will so that I could save lives. And that's what Jesus has done through his death and resurrection. Now, all the way down to verse 26 or verse 25. They went up from the land of Egypt and came to the land of Canaan and to their father, Jacob their father, and told him, saying, Joseph is alive and he's governor over all the land of Egypt. You know what's going to happen in that day when Jesus reveals himself to his brothers? They're going to go all around saying, Jesus is alive. They think Jesus is dead. Boy, are they in for an awakening. Mm. They're going out preaching, Jesus is alive and he's the ruler over all the earth. Egypt, the type of the world. Joseph was ruler over all the Jesus is going to be ruler over all the world. And that's the message of the brothers of Christ during the millennial reign. Mm. God is not done with Israel. Just as Abraham got remarried, God is going to pick his... The church will be raptured. And just like Isaac and Rebekah went into Sarah's tent, the kingdom was offered to Israel, but it was taken from Israel, given to the church. Christ and the church will be in the heavens. But there's going to be an awful lot going on down here too with the nation of Israel in that day. Mm. And oh, what a day. We're told to pray for the, for the peace of Jerusalem in the Psalms. Did you know the peace of Jerusalem will not come till Jesus comes back? Mm. So really what we're praying for is come Lord Jesus come. Sure. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Listen, we are so close. We're